probably one of the more challenging math courses in college, primarily because discrete math is the only math class you take that focuses on puzzles and challenging problems that algebra and calculus can't help with. That being said, who should take discrete math? Well, I would personally recommend this course to anyone. Since the math isn't advanced in the sense that you need some fancy differential equations to solve, in most cases, you might just have to look at problems from different angles until you find a great way of tackling the solution. However, that being said, this is not exactly an easy course. Unfortunately, if I'm to be honest, discrete math doesn't have a great success rate in college, primarily because of how different of a math course it is and how unprepared students are for taking such a unique math course, and not at the fault of the student, but at the fault of the layout of the course in college. Honestly, this course should be split into two or three different courses, but because college still emphasizes the need to take discrete math, I want to provide you a resource to help you learn discrete math. Now imagine if the roles of math courses were reversed and you had to take one math course that covered every topic outside of discrete math. That math course would include three semesters of calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, and so on. Those courses are hard enough by themselves. Unfortunately, that's what happened with discrete math. You have a bunch of topics in discrete math all mushed together to make one course. Discrete math covers many topics that by themselves are actual math courses that students can take in college. That's a lot of math in one course. Well, that's probably why you're here. This course is extremely thorough and detailed with tons of content and is meant to help you learn discrete math in a way that doesn't give you the pressure that a college might. If you are taking discrete math in college, maybe because you're an engineer or a computer science major, or maybe you just like discrete math, this course will help you. If you are not taking discrete math, and maybe you're just interested in this type of mathematics, then this course will cover everything that you would see in a college-level discrete math course, and then some. To sum it all up, you should take this course because it will help you personally. I use discrete math every day, and whether you want to believe this or not, so do you, and I want you to do it well. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next lecture.